<laughs> okay. You're fabulous. Okay. It's a good thing we're in this nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I am myself indifferent, honest, but yet you accuse me of such things that it were better my mother had not borne me. I am very proud, revengeful, ambitious, hot, with more offenses than Beck. My, I have thoughts to put them in, imagination to give them shape or time or act between them. What should such good fellows as I do crawling between earth and heaven? We are errant knaves, all believe us none. Stay in this nunnery. Where's your mama's baby daddy? <laughs> Let the doors be shut upon him and that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Farewell. Oh, help him, you sweet heavens. If thou dost marry, I'll give thee this plague for that dowry, as thou as chaste as eyes, as pure as snow, thou shalt not escape calamity. Get thee, stay in this nunnery. <laughs> Or if thou wilt needs marry, marry a fool, for wise men know well enough what monsters will make of them. Stay in this nunnery, and quickly, too. Farewell. Heavenly powers, restore him. I have heard your paintings, too, well enough. God hath given you a strong six, weak seven face, and you <laughs> kill yourselves, mother. You jig and amble, and you lisp your nickname, God's creatures, and make your wantonness, your ignorance, Go to, I want no more on it. It hath made me sad. I say we have no more marriage. Those that hath married already, all to one shall live. The rest keep us as they are. Stay in this memory. Hamlet, out! <laughs> Heavenly powers restore him. I have heard of your pain. 
things too, well enough. God hath given you a face, and you make yourself another. You jig and amble, and you lift. You nickname God's creatures, and make your wants of us your ignorance. Go to, I'll no more of it. And hath, it hath made me mad. I say we will have no more marriage. Those that are married already, but all but one shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. To an enemy. Go. Whether well, tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrow of their righteous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep precious to dream, a there's the rub, for in that deep uh, of sleep what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There is a respect that makes polarity of so long life. For those who bear the whips and scorns of life, a time. The oppressor's wrong. The proud man contumely. The pangs of despised love. The laws delay. The insolence of office. And the spurns that patient merit of trustworthy take. Who would mortals bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life. But that the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country from whose born no travelers return. Puzzle the will and make us rather bear those ills will we have. Then fly to others that we know not of. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Thus the conscience does many cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is signaled over with the pale cast of thought and the enterprise of great retention moment. With this regard that there is a
50,000 natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream. I bears the rub. For in the sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Let's give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity is of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. The proud man's contumely. The pangs of despised love. The law's delay. The insolence of office. And the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes. When he himself might his prizes make with the bare bodkin? Who would fall their bears to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have. Then fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sickly over the pale cast of thought. And, and enterprises of great pitch and moment. Mm -hmm. With this regard, their, their currents turn our and, and lose the name of action. 